with Rethunk Junk by Lara and today we're talking about distressing. One of my favorite things to do. This is my favorite kind of sander. Kind of looks like an iron. Gets in all those cracks and the pads Velcro on so you don't have to try and wrap them around and attach them. Before we started we prepped our chair and we painted it with blue lace. Now we're going to come in with a sander and we're just going to roll it around in circles. We're using 80 grit sandpaper which is kind of aggressive but it really gets in there and gets some um, the paint off because um, the paint sticks so well. You need aggressive sandpaper and we're running it across the spindles and removing the paint there um, is personal preference how much sanding you want to do or how little sanding you want to do. These look gorgeous with a bunch of distressing because of all that carved detail that you're highlighting. Looks absolutely fabulous. Once you're finished sanding, take a super wide brush and remove all the sanding dust. That allows you to seal it with our tough top without um, having any sanding dust caught in there. If you have a problem where you feel like you messed up, all you got to do is take a little bit of paint and touch up that spot smooth it in feather it in it's going to dry to exactly the same color so you can't really mess up when you're distressing so relax and have fun with it you can create any kind of look you want if you look at it and there's mistakes like right here take that brush put it in there with the paint and feather it in you can create any look you want erase anything add more distressing if you stand back and feel like it needs more it's a fabulous fabulous thing to do to highlight any architecture and make a piece truly a work of art when you're finished You'll have this, ta-da, beautiful, beautiful chair. Thanks for watching.